Hello, Ajarkun. Hello, Akhtar. Uh, can you hear me right now? Yes, Victor, can you hear me? Okay, good, good. How are you guys? How is your mood? Is everything okay? Good morning, Altenbeck. Yes, okay. Let's start our lesson then. Uh, what is our presentation? Okay, uh, today we are going to talk about people's possession. And if you all have your student's book right now with you, please can you open the unit number one? And you will see the topic people's possessions. Did you all open? Okay, Victor, nice. So what will be aims of today's lesson? So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to practice your listening for just and specific and listening for specific details. And you will also just study a grammar structure like a synonym of the model verb should like to be supposed to and can to be allowed to. And as usual, please write down your homework. Uh, your homework will be workbook page eight and ya class exercises. And please don't forget to send to my new email address because your homework I still get to my uh, old email address. Please, I would like to ask you to the new email address, okay? This is my new email address. Write down or just take a picture and be kind to send to this email address. Okay, good. So let's start our lesson then. Now, do you see these pictures? And do you see the words in the box? Could you please replace these pictures with the words from the box? So if you have 30 seconds, please at first read the sentences, look at the pictures, and try to replace. Mm -hmm. First. She always keeps her money and credit cards in a what? What is it? Amir Khan, in a purse, yes? Yes, you're right, it is a purse. Second picture, a, the word, must pray or meditate and must do some work. Evelina, a monk. Good, monk, you're right. Next one, monks, wear what what is it and they never wear casual clothes emir's answer is ropes let's check you're right excellent good job so four i started doing belly after school with quite a what kind of person nur sultan yes strict teacher good job and the last one, the fifth one, a is a metal ring which you use to keep your keys together. What is it? Emir. Yes, a key ring. Okay, we have just talked about the possessions. Some of the pictures are possessions of people which they take with them every day. Yes? Now, can you tell me, guys, what do you usually take with you when you go out, when you go to school, when you go to the market, or when you go out just to have a walk with your friends? What do you usually take with you? Amir, I don't understand. Ah, you, you wanted to write maybe phone, yes? Yes, phone. What else? What else? What are the things you also take with you? Key. Okay, good. What else? Bag. Okay, what else? Money. Yes, of course, this is the most important thing. Yes. Glasses. Okay, good. Now, look at this. My two friends. These are my friends. Prapa Chak and Laura. According to their appearance, 
what do they usually take with them when they go out? So according to these pictures, can you guess? So let's talk about the first person, yes? Proper Chuck. What does he usually take with him when he goes out? Just try to guess what objects, what things he usually takes with him. Takes leaves, what? He takes books, you think, yeah? Okay. Other 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 suggestions? Flowers. He always takes flowers with him when he goes out. What else does he take? Chungus, he takes books. Okay? Food. Mm -hmm. So what about Laura? What does Laura take? So she takes books with her, yes, all the time. What else? ID card. Aha, Elvelina, nice answer. What else? Bag, okay, could be. What else? What else could she also take with her? She takes bag. Mm -hmm. Could be. Backpack. Could be. Well, yes, Evelina, nice answer. Okay. What else? Mobile phone. Okay. What are we going to do right now? We are going to read and listen the text about these people, these my friends, and we are going to figure out what do they usually take with them when they go out, okay? Are you ready? Please, let's listen and read this text, please. Track 1.4, unit one, read. Sorry, I need to switch on the Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. Just wait a second. Track 1.4. What happened? Unit 1. Reading. Exercise 3. I don't go out without. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just wait a second because I have to just uh, enter Bluetooth. Track 1.4. Switch on the Bluetooth and to make one. the sound Reading. louder. Exercise three. Connecting. Please wait. I don't go out with a... Out. Proper Chuck. 13. Chiang Mai, Thailand. I'm a monk, and a monk doesn't go out without his robes. In Thailand, most Buddhist schoolboys become monks for a year. A monk lives with almost no possessions. Nice a monk William. lives in a monastery, and he is supposed to wear orange robes. A monk doesn't wear jeans or t-shirts. It's against the rules to have jewelry and mobile phones in the monastery. But we are allowed to have some family photos. My only other possessions are a bowl, a cup, sandals, and an umbrella. Every day, very early in the morning, we walk around the streets with our bowls and people give us food. Why? We aren't supposed to have money, so we can't buy food. Laura, 14, Stockport, UK. I don't go out without my school tie and my purse. The tie is part of our school uniform. I've got a house key, Max my William. library card, and my electronic ID card in my purse. School's okay, but it's very strict. We use the ID card when we arrive at school and when we go into each class. The head teacher doesn't ask the teachers how many classes we go to. The ID cards give the head teacher this information. We use the ID cards to pay for lunch, so we don't use money at school. I've got a mobile phone, but we aren't allowed to use our phones at school. It's against the rules. Okay, good. So, uh, was the sound good or not? Were you able to listen and read? 
Guys, I'm asking, were you able to listen and read? Okay, good. So you were able to listen, yes? Uh huh. Uh, what about others? Uh huh. Ilim heard, listened well. Yes. Okay. Now, we have just read these two texts about these two people. Now, let's try to figure out what do they usually take with them when they go out. Let's talk about Prachak. What does he usually take with him? Ropes. Mm -hmm. What else? Artem, you are writing in Russian. Can you change the language? Ropes, ropes. What else? Only ropes? Okay, what else does he also take? Ropes. A bowl. A bowl. What else? Family photos. Do we have a cup? Mm -hmm. Good job, Janabek. Mm -hmm. Artyom, what else? Except cup, what else does he take? Mm -hmm. Sandals. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. He also takes sandals. And what else? Umbrella. Family photos. Yes, someone mentioned about it. And let's check. Yes, umbrella. You're right. Now let's talk about Laura. What else does does she take except books? Phone. Mm -hmm. She takes a tie. What else? ID cards. A purse. Mm -hmm. A tie. What else does she take? School uniform. A house key, yes. Mm -hmm. A purse we have already written down here. Mm -hmm. A library card and an ID card, yes. These things they usually take with them when they go out, okay? Now, what are we going to do right now? If you have, a, if you have got a book with you, please open your book and read. If you don't have, please listen to the audio about these two texts again. What do you need to do? You have to read the sentences first, then listen or read if you have a book with you. Then let's find whether the sentences or statements are true or false, okay? whether the sentences are true or false about these two people. Okay, let's start. Track 1.4, Unit 1, Reading, Exercise 3. I don't go out without. Proper Chak, 13, Chiang Mai, Thailand. I'm a monk, and a monk doesn't go out without his robes. In Thailand, most Buddhist schoolboys become monks for a year. A monk lives with almost no possessions. A monk lives That's in a William. monastery, and he is supposed to wear orange robes. A monk doesn't wear jeans or t-shirts. It's against the rules to have jewelry and mobile phones in the monastery. But we are allowed to have some family photos. My only other possessions are a bowl, a cup, sandals, and an umbrella. Every day, very early in the morning, we walk around the streets with our bowls, and people give us food. Why? We aren't supposed to have money, so we can't buy food. Laura, 14, Stockport, UK. I don't go out without my school tie and my purse. The tie is part of our school uniform. I've got a house key, my library card, and my electronic ID card in my purse. School's okay, but it's very strict. We use the ID card when we arrive at school and when we go into each class. 
The head teacher doesn't ask the teachers how many classes we go to. The ID cards give the head teacher this information. We use the ID cards to pay for lunch, so we don't use money at school. I've got a mobile phone, but we aren't allowed to use our phones at school. It's against the rules. Okay, good. Now let's clarify the answers. Tie monks wear orange t-shirts. It's true or false? Uh, you started writing your answers very early. Okay, let's check. This is true, yes or false? This is false because we have got a red star, yes. Next, monks don't talk to their families on mobile phones. What is it? False. Ye no, it is true. You see the green star, yes. Okay, good. Next, people give money to the monks. Mm -hmm. Let's check. This is true. Next, all the students at lower school wear a tie. Four, true. Mm -hmm. Let's check. Yes, this is true. Next, Laura doesn't go into her classes without a library card. True or false? False. Okay, let's check. Yes, Johnny Beck, you're right. This is false. And Laura uses an ID card instead of money. False. No, this is true. This is true. Okay, let's move on. So while we were reading uh, the text, we had the, the structure to be supposed to and to be allowed to. It can also be used to say, so to be supposed to is a synonym of the modal verb should. So sometimes we can use instead of should. And what is the structure of supposed to? To be verb, am, are, is, supposed to, and plus verb. Verb we use in present simple or in infinitive, yes? For example, you are supposed to be at work on time. It means you should be at work on time. This is a synonym, yes? Okay, next. Next one. Uh, to be allowed to. So when we give a permission, so we use to be allowed to. Again, subject to be allowed to. So B, we have to change into M is R and two for example children aren't allowed to eat too many sweets they aren't allowed to. uh it means they cannot eat yes because it's not allowed the parents didn't give the permission or don't give the permission so we were allowed to watch tv until late so were we use in the past simple and m is r we use in present simple okay now let's practice these uh, verbs. Look at the first example. The train was supposed to or allowed to arrive at 11, maybe a.m. or p.m. And why was it so late? So which answer is correct, first or second? Ahtan thinks supposed to. Yes, Ahtan, good job. Supposed to because should, yes? Second. I am not supposed to or allowed to use a mobile phone during the lesson. Which one is correct? Second, yes, because I can't use, yes, I'm not allowed, right? Third one, why are you watching TV? You are allowed or supposed to do your homework. First, Chungu thinks the first one is correct. Ajarkan thinks it's second. Let's check. Yes, supposed to. This is a second, supposed to. Next, you can't go to the pub. You are supposed to or allowed to be ill. Guys, first. Yes, supposed to, right. Next, are you allowed to or supposed to stay up late at night? First. Yes, Chingus, you're right. This is first. I'm going towards the car now. I was allowed to or supposed to do it yesterday, but I forgot it. I was allowed to or supposed to. John Beck thinks the second one, yes? Yes, supposed to. Where is Harry? 
she is supposed to or allowed to pick me up? Ha, huh, Big Sultan says it's supposed to. Let's check. You're right, Big Sultan. Correct. He isn't supposed to or allowed to speak this to strangers in the street. Which one? Second. Yes, Emir. Correct. And the last one? Gazprom school students are allowed to or supposed to swim in the swimming pool yes, every day. Which one? Second, allowed to or supposed to swim in the swimming pool every day. Which one? First, yes, first one is correct, right. Okay, uh, look at these two pictures. Can you all see the pictures? Guys, okay, can you make a sentence just using these two pictures, just combining these two pictures? The first one is a video camera and you see the tick. And here it's a museum in the US. Using supposed to or allowed to make a sentence, please, and write your sentences, please. Watching us no. Why are you saying no? Okay, uh, they are allowed to take Photos, yes, it is supposed to recording in museum. Mm -hmm. But it means you can do it. The stick means you can do it. Okay. Can we suppose to here if you can do it? No, yes, Sultan. So let's check the answer. This is my answer. You are allowed to shoot in the museum, yes, or to make a video to shoot. Okay, second. Designated smoking area. So it means excellent. You are allowed to do what, Nur Sultan? Can you write the full sentence? Aha, uh -huh, you are allowed to smoke where? Okay. But here it means you are supposed to smoke in the designated smoking areas. It means you should smoke in a specific areas, not everywhere, not in public places. Like there are some places where you can smoke. And that's why here you should smoke in designated smoking place or you are supposed to smoke, okay? But you also can also say, yes, you are allowed to smoke where? In specific places or in smoking areas, also possible, okay? Next, loan. A loan, this is the money which you take from the bank to buy a house or to buy a car. So what kind of example can you give? Yes, Nur Sultan, you're right. This is in Russian, it sounds like that, yes. Mm -hmm. Could you help me to make a sentence, please? You are allowed loan? But you must have a verb after allowed to. You are allowed to loan. Loan, it's a noun here, but you need to uh, have a verb. What do we need to do after taking a loan? We need to return to the bank, yes? And how can we make a sentence? You are allowed to take loan, yes, it could be, yes. Mm -hmm. I know we have two minutes. So you are supposed to pay back loan on time to the bank. If you take a loan, you have to return it on time, yes? This is just my version, but you also can make your own sentences. You can give your own ideas. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. But you should, yes. Mm -hmm. Next. You see a sign, a doc, The sign of the dock, it means what? And this is a park probably. What cannot you do? Or what can't you do? Guys, are you all here? We aren't supposed to walk with dog. Yes, Nur Sultan, it could be. Could be. Could be, yes, but other versions in this area, okay. You aren't allowed to walk with dog. 
Yes, I think the allowed is much better. Yes, in this case, Akhtan. Yes, let's check. You aren't allowed to walk a dog, to walk a dog, to take a dog for a walk, it means. Yes, to walk a dog in this park. You're right. Akhtan's version was closer, yes. Because you can't do it. You see the sign. The sign means that you can't walk a dog here. 